It's uh, right around 133 p.m. on Thursday, May 16th, 2024. And um, I am just kind of in the middle of doing some logistical organizing, cleaning, and getting ready, as I usually do in the middle of a weekday afternoon. There's a lot of stuff to do, emails to send. I've already sent a bunch of emails this morning. Um, you know, taking out recycling, uh, all that stuff. And yet, throughout the uh, morning and early afternoon, which it is right now, there has been that same beautiful, breathtaking summer vacation kind of atmosphere going on throughout this unit. It just feels like I'm on a summer vacation, and I don't even know why. I'm not sure where this feel is coming from of, you know, it being summer. It's a bit cloudy out there today. It rained all night last night. It was pretty windy, actually. Very cold, actually. I had to turn the burner on my stove for warmth at about four o'clock this morning because it was so chilly in here that it, the cold literally woke me up out of a sound sleep. Um, I'm not sure what it is with the heat not being on, you know, at three or four in the morning in this building. I suspect the landlord likes to turn it off during the night to save money, and they're really not supposed to do that. It's illegal because it causes the temperature in residential units to go below 64 degrees, which it's supposed to be maintained at a minimum temperature of 64 degrees by law. Otherwise, the landlord is in violation of housing codes. So I had to turn the burner on my stove for warmth, and it was on from 4 a.m. to about 10 this morning when I woke up and turned it off. I am definitely launching an all-out job search. Um, I have been doing it intermittently over the last few months, but have also been taking care of a lot of legal issues with respect to the landlord's claims against my tenancy, which are false, uh, defamatory, retaliatory, and discriminatory. Um, the landlord is not supposed to take action against your tenancy for at least six months after you filed complaints against them with inspectional services. And because both of their cases against me over the last few years were initiated just two or three months after I had filed complaints against them with inspectional services for code violations in this unit, then their cases against me are considered retaliatory by law. So, um, I mean, the, ju the judicial system in Massachusetts seems to cherry pick the laws according to what their own personal interests are, which is corruption, but the law does protect tenants from being evicted by their landlord for filing complaints. You're not supposed to do that. It is completely illegal, very retaliatory. It violates a number of consumer rights laws and tenant protection laws, but they do it anyway. However, um, you know, so I've been taking care of that over the last few months. It's just been keeping me fairly occupied. But now that it's summer and uh, almost summer anyway, I need to really just get a job and not just participate in research studies or focus groups as I have been over the last few months. Once again, my last job ended at the very end of January three months ago. Yeah, January is three months ago now. Um, January like 30th was my last day and not because I did anything wrong. It was a seasonal position, but I have been looking for more employment ever since then. I am not a DPH or DMH inmate, as most of the tenants are in this building. They're placed here by the Department of Public Health of Massachusetts due to the fact that they are mentally insolvent, have committed some crimes, and need to be placed in single-use occupancy residences um, because they're obviously not a fit to live with other people. The problem with that is that even though these inmates are alone in their units, they harass tenants on the other side of the wall, which is what I keep experiencing and what I keep describing as experiencing on a regular basis, the violent slamming and pounding, the nonstop marijuana and cigar fumes from what Greenville keeps telling me is a vacant bathroom behind this wall. Um, the fumes and smoke do not come from below um, and they don't come from the hallway either. If they came from below, I would smell it all over this area right here. I would smell it even if the window was open but I only smell it right here behind this wall and it fills my bathroom, which means that the unit behind this one is where the smoke and fumes are coming from. Greenville keeps telling me it's vacant, but it did house a psychopath named Jasmine Irizarry between 2013 and 2022. And Irizarry has been confirmed by Oleg Elisev of the Greenville Group as continuing to be placed in this building at the five unit app property because I asked him, I said, did you move her out of the building or just out of unit 78? Uh, when I had a conversation with him in person in March of 2023, and he said his exact words, well, she still lives in the building, but maybe we'll move her across the street to 191. 
Well, obviously he didn't do that. And Irizarry, given that she's demonstrated the ability to pick the lock to my unit, on multiple occasions while I've been literally just kind of sitting right here and looking at my door, all of a sudden somebody unlocks a door from the outside. They open the door. They stand in the doorway. They start engaging in loud singing um, and start picking the tape off of my door frame and putting it on the outside the, the tape that was on the inside of the door frame, she started picking it and putting it on the outside of the door frame. That was Jasmine Arizari. That's a fact. I can report that as being a fact because I physically saw her entering my unit from the outside, which is breaking and entering. Breaking and entering is a crime. Arizari doesn't seem to really care if she commits crimes because she is mentally disturbed. Nobody in their right mind would break and enter to somebody's unit while they're in their unit. So I have the right to report that. That's a fact. I reported it to management multiple times in writing and verbally, and that's also a fact. So I have the right to mention her name as somebody who broke the law and entered my unit without uh, having a key or without having permission. I mean, maybe she had permission from the landlord to harass me, but that's a different story. That's a criminal act. Anyway, back to the uh, summer vacation vibe that I'm getting. It's beautiful and I love it. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's not that warm outside and I have a ton of stuff to do, but it just feels like I'm on some kind of fabulous, beautiful summer vacation. And just being in this corner right here somehow has this feel of having a, I don't know, summer, summer vacation, right? Just summer, summer vibe. It's just a beautiful summer vibe. Even though, again, I'm just taking care of some logistical issues, cleaning, organizing, taking things out, going up and down the hallway to get clean water to drink. Um, that's all stuff that is not fun, but the summer feel is like so strong that it supersedes everything else. So, you know, maybe it's because summer is definitely on the way and the temperatures outside have been getting a little warmer. It's cold at night, but it definitely feels like summer during the day. And that's just a beautiful feel. I will go with that for now.